Well, here's some good news. Cigarette smoking among adults has hit an all-time low, according to the CDC. Experts say, of course, that's good news, but still about 14% of all adults smoke. That's still 34 million people. Now, newly published research shows how exposure to adults' tobacco smoke is taking a toll on kids' health and the healthcare system. For decades, health experts have warned about the dangers of smoking. While the number of adults lighting up has gone down, experts say about four in 10 children are exposed to secondhand and even thirdhand smoke. So secondhand smoke is when you're inhaling cigarette smoke from a lit tobacco product. And thirdhand smoke is the residue that remains in the environment well after the cigarette smoking has ceased. Mariano says when kids inhale, swallow, or touch objects that contain third-hand smoke, they are at higher risk of asthma, bronchitis, and pneumonia. Mariano's and her colleagues found that smoke-exposed children had nearly twice the risk of being admitted to the hospital over a one-year period, and higher rates of ER visits, all coming at a cost. So we found that children exposed to tobacco smoke had an average of almost $120 more per each pediatric emergency department visit compared to unexposed children who do not who do not live with a smoker. A hidden problem hurting kids health and taking a toll on the health care system. Now, Mariano says the research also suggests the need for additional smoke exposure intervention programs to help ensure that adults who want to quit smoking are supported. It is tough. She says for every 100 adults who try to quit, only seven are successful, not even 10%. It is also important they have the resources to rid their homes of this third-hand smoke residue.